Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Hopefully you're doing good. Today I'll be doing two fragrance reviews and I want to put a little bit of a rush today. I'm sorry, it, it, it may sound a little bit annoying. Like, hey, if you are in rush, why are you doing reviews? Because today, around half an hour from now, we have a cricket game of Bangladesh, our country. Uh, cricket team actually is like, yeah, I'm wearing one of their official practice, practice t-shirt. So uh, today is a big game against South Africa. So hopefully, I, I'm not <laughs> holding so much hope, but then I like watching games. So the two reviews I have, both are from Middle Eastern houses. One is a sample review, other one is going to be a full packaging, which I'm going to show. So the first review is a big thanks to Fragrantica Bangladesh who sent me this sample with my last purchase and it's called Oud and Roses. Okay, very healthy amount of sample like a juice amount and this is from Ahmed Al Maghribi. I think that's the house name. Let me just check, double check. Last time I called this Ahmed. I did review a couple of fragrances. Yes, Ahmed Al Maghribi. Maghribi, yes, correct. So this perfume, I, I'll let you know what I got. I tested it. This is the sample. I did wear a fair bit, but not on me. I basically tested this on paper. One day I tried on my skin, it was super beast mode. It was very hot and humid. So it was a bit overpowering. So basically, I understand this house is really popular in Middle Eastern countries, especially people know about this. I am not very familiar with this house. I did review and try a few, but I would like to try more. So it's a nice, interesting house. And uh, for uh, like, uh, People who are looking for Middle Eastern kind of fragrances, which has excellent sillage, you know, longevity, and also, uh, no, I'm not gonna say very good value for money because this fragrance I understand are not super cheap. So I have to try more fragrances uh, to make that draw that conclusion if they're good value for the money. But this fragrance is very very top notch. So I have this have this on the paper. This smells uh, very strong. To be honest, the name, I don't have a nose breakdown here with me. I did not bother looking at it. I'll let you know what I got from my nose or from my testing rather. Let me do this half an hour dry down. So I will uh, spray this for the opening. Okay. And that's a lot of juice comes out that this, this small sample, actually the sprayer is very good. Thank you so much Fragrantica Bangladesh for always providing me with samples. So let the cell down. And one tip to people, especially like, you know, those who are new in the game, some of you do this couple of mistakes that you do just give me one second yeah sorry about that there's some sort of bug in the room it was biting me anyway so what i'm trying to say some of you make this couple of mistakes just a small uh, note i would say uh, do not spray from too close you know like uh, some of you spray on the skin like for very close so it doesn't really get to hit most of the surface of the body Ideally spray from this distance, that would be good. And second thing is immediately after spraying a perfume, do not immediately sniff it because sometimes, you know, their opening can have some alcohol and some chemical that can go into your system and disturb you. Okay, so that's my two cents. Always do a little bit waft in the hand, like in the air, the hand or the paper. Now it's good to sniff. So this has very nice uh, juicy opening and the name Oud and Rose definitely can smell the rose. There's a definite rose play in this perfume and this fragrance. Uh, it does remind me of some of the perfume, but I cannot just remember at this moment exactly which one, but some Estée Dupont perfumes, um, some fragrances which are from Middle Eastern countries, some maybe uh, there's like a juicy pear or something fruity in there, something citrusy, very sweet, uh, kind of like Herba Pura also, that's kind of like fruity sweetness. So I'm getting like a melange of that. I'm not quite sure what this is trying to clone, but this fragrance to my nose, Oud and Roses, it smells a little bit like a, I would say, unisex. Uh, if uh, I have to really draw a conclusion like this, what this is supposed to be, I think this would be a good feminine perfume. You know, like the rose is very sweet. It's very much like a feminine touch. Perhaps it's unisex, but I'm thinking this women's perfume. Uh, it was smell really nice on women, but the thing is, it gets stronger over time. The dry down, I think, has something spicy in it, like a saffron or something sweet in it that, that enhances the rose flavor a lot more and uh, it amplifies. So I think this would be a good fragrance for colder months like Declare Chanton Soir. Imagine like a rose, that perfume has rose. Also I can think of some green leaves, there's something green in this. Uh, nice perfume, very Middle Eastern type. And there is a oud play but the oud is not headache inducing, it's the rose I think can get that for you, like you may have a massive headache okay if you spray too much so use with caution less is more with this okay so the fragrance in in this perfume like this particular uh, 
perfume you know like this bottle i think it's a very nice well done well put together kind of perfume but i have smelled this dna before so taste before you buy uh, i would not say it's a blind buy worthy but if you do like fragrances like mansera's roses kind of fragrances you know or you like middle eastern kind of fragrances ski dupont perfumes like royal amber some of the other ones i just let me just give you some idea like uh not really noble wood but if you know this line some of them have rose and stuff i have like a few of them so if you if you're a big fan of those kind of fragrance you can give it a try and uh it will serve you well and as a man you can wear it i'm not saying you cannot wear it but to my nose it smells like a it will smell great on women longevity and projection massive uh, i'll give 10 in both categories price i do not know how much it costs that's the thing but i heard ahmed al maghribi's one of the brothers selling selling it in bangladesh he's asking for some of them like 80 dollars some of them are 50 dollars range but these are not really like cheap 50 dollars already you're asking for designer prices but it is possible that he got it got them from a source where it costed him higher but try before you buy i mean check out different sources i don't know where they sell this but this perfume overall quality wise uh, to my liking i'll give it a 7 out of 10 because the smell is not for me okay but longevity and projection is very massive and it will perform really well if you like roses especially if you like kind of like a fruity roses sweet mixed with saffron and wood you can give it a try very nice uh, pink rose in this one okay so that's called wood and roses by ahmed al makribi so let me do one more review then we'll upload this and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it take care have a nice day bye bye